And this is a good shot from Shoaib Malik. Gets his first boundary. A rare loose delivery from Raza. Usually he's very straight. But here giving just a touch width to Shoaib Malik. And he's very good to pounce on that. Yes, the fifth boundary in this total of 39. And with this pace of the ball that comes onto the bat, you don't have to really smash it. You just have to get in the middle of the bat and she'll fly off in that short boundary there. So that's the boundary he wanted. Just rushing him a little bit here. That's a bit of experience shown there by Malik. But this is his strength, Raza. And he's very effective whenever he bowls that line. Wicket to wicket. Well, they're appealing for outside the line for starters. <laughs> I don't know what the umpire was saying there, VBS. <laughs> Let's have a look what happened. Yeah, not a big turner of the ball, but that came in just impact outside the off stem. That's good bowling. Good comeback from Raza after giving away four. Nice little clip on the leg. So the umpire was quite looking at the look at Raza saying, "What were you thinking of?" And it's hitting way outside the line for starters. And I think he actually looked at the at the bowler and saying you only need one appeal. You don't have to ask me three times. The umpire wasn't too happy with that appeal. Oh that it that had nuts and topping on it. He should have hit that for four. They should be using their feet a little bit better than that, it must be said. 41 for three after nine overs. Good delivery, quick single on the leg side, good batting. Yeah, good batting by Umar Akmal. He moves to 11 of 20 balls, and this is not his natural game. Usually a free-flowing batsman. But he's, it's good that he's assessing the situation the team is in. And that's important from this Pakistan batsman. He is to assess the situation. Even against India, I thought that they didn't play smart cricket. They just went to play big flamboyant shots. It's, it's good when the conditions are good in favor of the batsmen you're on top of the opposition bowlers but at the moment they're not and Shoy Malik will be looking to convert this into a two and this is good batting because looking to rotate the strike concentrating on taking singles not necessarily playing the big shot and they require to use all their experience Yeah, I firmly believe you've got to earn your form. And go out there and just smash it away and think you're going to get in the neck. Sometimes, even against UAE, a lesser known opponent, but I still think you've got to earn your form before you can go and make big scores against other teams. So it looks to me that Shazad, once he once he bowls a short, he tends to bowl a short ball as a bad ball, not a very full ball. So he drops one short, he looked to pull him or cut him away. Beautifully bowled, good line and length again. Well, the umpires, he's got a little camera there on top of his hat there. You get the good vision. Bit of a chat. Look at those eyes. Oh, you're right in it. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. See the nick there, having a little chat. Oh, you go. I think it's just fantastic. It really is. The technology that they've got. And also, I think it's also good for the education for the umpires for the future to understand if their head's sitting right over the top of the middle stump so they can give proper judgments on LBWs and for runouts. See if the head moves around a little bit. Come on, come on. Animal Huck. 
His 13th C20. Oh, that might go for four, and it will. His first loose one. Well, it's been a pretty good spell from him. End of the over. Seven runs from it. Ten overs gone. It's 48 for three. UAE just need to hang in there, Hedos. But the required rate is rising. Pakistan quietly playing themselves back into the game. Shoaib Malik using the pace. Yo, yo, well bowled, man. Adi, udari date. With Afridi and Safras to come, it's not beyond Pakistan at all. This re uh, this required rate. Let's do it. It's just about retention of wickets working together. Good communication. Dean Jones said it with VBS Laxman. It's about the conversation in the centre. When you're trying to build a partnership, you're trying to look for the opportunities, not look for what your match position is necessarily, but how you can keep the game and, the, and your partnership in particular moving forward. That's good communication. Especially when you've got the depth of, of this side in UAE and two very experienced Pakistani batters. You come together and you talk about how fast you've got to run, how hard you've got to run the simple things of cricket and batting. Then it all just seems to happen for you. Yeah, I've got to drag this game down to the 20th over because um, the big challenge for UAE will be how to maintain that standard. They'll be dip in performance because they're still learning the art to survive at this level. So Pakistan must then cash in. But having said that, their record in the last 10 overs as a bowling side is seriously good. The pick wickets and have uh, restricted the opposition. So this challenge is not over yet for Pakistan. Oh, it's uh, a good dot to end the over, 51 for 3. An attempt made on that occasion, a real yahoo from the right-hander Akmal. Well, that's uh, well feel it. Uh, I think that's the other thing they need to do well in this space. UAE got to take the catches, got to make it tough for Pakistan, especially to rotate the strike. Well, he, he runs in two, three ways and then finally is on track. Gotta stop the singles because uh, Pakistan at this stage, even right now, are not looking for big shots. Right, that's an important uh, stage of the game. And uh, well, this is what they've done in the last 10 versus Sri Lanka. They picked up seven wickets and uh, shut down the engine, so to say, versus Sri Lanka when they're looking to gallop ahead and fire away. They were stopped in the stride and versus Bangladesh. 59 for the loss of six so they picked up six in the last ten pretty potent the bowling attack UAE Pakistan cannot afford to underestimate their strength going by that graphic well have a look at this this is very unusual it's like a good strong breeze oh there it goes the breeze is blowing him over <laughs> very unusual uh, run up and approach to the wicket Talking about breeze at uh, the crop of hair, it's... Oh no, I've got a bit of a hair thing at the moment, but look at that, that's like a rooster's tail. It's a big shot, big hit. That's gone all the way, it's a six, it's a flat six. Showcasing his talent. Umar Akmal is an exciting batsman and he's in good form. That was class. The Pakistan can't allow this game to drift anymore with the rate almost up to nine. He's been patient. And he intended to hit the top of mid-off. Four runs. Bouncing just inside. And thinking about it, whether it was a six or a four, whether that ball landed on the rope on the fourth 